You know what? I think I might be a little bit addicted to this game. I know I'm a little bit addicted to this game. I just think it's good to recognize that. And demonstrate self-awareness. For context, I don't even know how many hours I've played this today. But it's many. Oh, mushroom. Sorry. Off the tree. Around the tree. There we are. Anyways, I was collecting mushrooms. And then I need to go talk to Diluc. Yes. Mushroom acquired. Alright, let's see. Another mushroom. And another mushroom. Mushrooms really are this area's pine cones. That other area was full of pine cones, and this one is full of mushrooms. I'm sure that whatever we make with these mushrooms will be very flavorful. Yeah, no worries. Why does this guy sound like he's on a phone call? Just kind of hanging out by himself. Also, yes, this is still the same day as some of those other episodes, so... <clears throat> I am still fighting for my life, trying Maybe not to I'm cough. Not to oh, Alan, believe in yourself. So I apologize if my voice sounds weird. Alan! Why, if you're looking for a hunting partner, you'd better- you'd be better off picking someone else. You seem a bit worse for wear. Emotionally. Confidence-wise. Uh, yesterday I got a bit lost when I was out hunting. I almost wound up in a Haley Trail camp. Fortunately, I managed to escape. Sounds rough. I'm alright, really. I just always end up getting rescued by Outrider Amber! Ah, oh, Amber's really out here doing the most. It's so embarrassing. Don't be embarrassed, she's great. She's quite the capable one. Well, she is a vision bearer, after all. Yeah. You shouldn't compare yourself to other people. <gasps> Seely! Oh! Okay. I almost accidentally un- Hopkins the Marvelous unglided because I thought I had missed it, but I had in fact gotten it. Oh, Hopkins is scared. What are you up to? Um, he was having an epiphany from the god of the spring. Now is Hopkins the Marvelous a special time where I bask in the presence of the god of the spring, so move along. Wow. This guy's up to something. But he won't distract me from my Sealy. Oh, that oh, was just Cook, wasn't it? I have no interest in that at this time. I want to investigate- Ooh, a mushroom! Potato! Oh, I get ya. Let's just go up these rocks and then come down from above. How about that? Is that something I can do? Ooh. Rocks say no. That should be good enough. Yes, fantastic. Hello! Oh, oh no, there's more mushrooms. Okay, we'll see where it goes. And then we'll go get it. After the mushrooms. Ooh. Okay, off we go. Oh, am I stuck? I sure am. So let us just rotate, and we'll peek around here as well for any more mushrooms. Nothing to report. Oh, ooh. Hello? There you are. I knew there had to be at least one more hiding around here somewhere. Jostle that guy. Found a mushroom. I know where you want to go, but I reckon you'll stop before you get there. Yes, so... Everything is going according to plan. We've got several mushrooms, and we've got a Sealy on the move. Let's go catch up. Hello. Little friend. I had to guess it'll probably pop up over there on that other shelf. Yep.
I'll keep this close. Great. Got some stuff. How'd you like that, Hopkins? Oh, didn't like that. He left. Very jealous of my marvelous chest, it would seem. Oh, are you okay, buddy? Spring Fairy? Um, what are you doing? Chatting with the Spring Fairy? The name, my name's Finch. Haha, <laughs> but I'm old now, as you can see, so everyone calls me Old Finch. Tell the fairy I said hello. Of course, of course, she likes everyone around these parts. Way back when, she used to sneak into people's dreams to see the scenes being woven there. Now she even likes poems. She often reads them to me in my dreams. There's so much more she still wants to learn. That's a little unsettling. But hopefully this spring fairy is benevolent. I see a sparkly. Where is it? There it is. Eh? Oh my god, Hopkins. Oh gosh, are you trying to start a spring fairy cult? Where is Diluc? Where are you? Oops, missed. Yep, no way I'm getting that. Where is this gosh darn... Oh my gosh, I have wandered far. Maybe I just started in the wrong area to begin with. Over there. Oh, wind wheels. Don't mind if I do. I need more animoculi. I've actually gotten some more. I think just one more though. Maybe two at most. What am I at? Six? Eight? Eight. I'm almost there. I'm almost there, I promise. I really am interested in getting back to that mountain spine? Dragon spine? That was really fun. Just something I need to take in pieces, you know? Because it's, uh, kind of a high level region. But hopefully once I progress the main story, then I can progress my level, and you know, there's there's no need to rush these things, because I'm here to have fun, you know? And since I'm enjoying that region, eh, I'm enjoying that region, I would like it to last for a while. I swear, every single time I hear the song, I just think about green sleeves. I see so much stuff to get. Ugh, but I will not. I will not. I will resist the temptation. Oh, hey guys, we're all here. Hey, Diluc. The Abyss Order. Enemies of the human race. Even the underground networks rarely come across any information on them. Now, hold your horses, because as I've just learned, my brother is part of the Abyss Order, so I will not stand for too much disrespect. On the other hand, I can see that my brother runs a tight ship. Uh huh. I don't actually know how much authority he has in that organization, but I'm very proud nonetheless. If you must choose to be an evil enemy thing, I'm at least proud that you're doing a good job. With that said, it was a bit of a hassle, but I managed to dig up a few clues. Really? That quickly? You really are well connected, Master G. Luke. That's true. Come to think of it, Mr. Big Animo God Barbados. Why exactly do you need the help of mere humans? Paimon is asking good questions. Uh, how do I put it? The Seven, as people now know them, were once known as the Seven Archons. Each Archon presides over their own part of Tevat. That is the role the oh, Archons play. Tevat, not Tevat. Only in performing this duty Tevat. can we attain power. But I don't like the idea of ruling Mondstadt, and I don't feel Mondstadt would really like it either. Okay. Go forth and establish a city of freedom without rule. We have not forgotten Barbados's wish for Mondstadt. Oh. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Come to think of it, nobody really rules the city. It doesn't seem like we have the knights who are sort of enforcing order, I guess. But nobody really is on a throne or in any offer office of leadership. You know, Jean and the Grand Master are just. Grandmasters of the knights and not the people. That's pretty cool. Jean, you're such a devotee. Maybe someone got a little too free and is just too lazy to care. 
Uh, however it may have come to be, I haven't been back to Mondstadt for an extended period of time. Why not? Where have you been? What have you been up to? Um, I thought he was cursed, but he got cursed from Devalin. Hmm, it's not usually a good sign when the god is away for some reason, especially one that seems as kind as Venti does. What have you been up to? Without a doubt, I am now the weakest Darkon among the seven. Yeah, I, I'm going to immediately press X to doubt. Um, but yeah, I guess that's why you're the god to the City of Freedom. Aw, <laughs> you flatter me. Oh, such a humble god. Is it a blessing or a curse? I think it's much worse, I mean, sorry, much better than the alternative. But we digress. Let's get back to the topic at hand, the common enemy of all mankind. We have tracked the Abyss Mage to the vicinity of the winery. Really? What the heck? That's where we are right now. Why? I cannot stress enough how important it is to not let it escape. Why would they come here? Also... Huh. Wow, we are really charging through these story quests. Oh, I have an achievement. Oh, I have a lot. Wonders of the world. Um, completes for tomorrow without tears, probably the Devalon quest. Mortal Travails. Um, Voice of Flowing Water, collect the entire Heart of Clear Springs, and collect the entire Drunkard's Tail, and collect the entire Fox in the Dandelion Sea. Alright. I still feel like I have so many more books. Why didn't I... Hmm. Ooh, I have a, a mail. I've heard the ambient temperatures dropping rather quickly in several different climes. I wonder if your travels have taken you to a place with such inclement weather. They sure have, but I get the feeling that it's like that all the time there. Um? This sounds super cool. I don't know if I'm anywhere near the region where this is talking about and inviting me to. But I will accept the gifts. Thank you very much, Tainari. Is that your name? Interesting. I have no idea where that's supposed to be. Let's check the archive, because I have a bunch of books. Where are they? Here, there. What am I missing? Someone's diary, that's fun. Um. Ah! Wait, filter. Collected. So is this everything that I have? I mean, I have all of it? Oh wow, look at all that. Yes. Because I remember this, I got all of Clear Springs, Drunkard's Tale, and Fox and Dining Lion Sea, which is four stars for some reason. Oh wow. Probably because there's a lot of parts to it. So yes, there's several that I'm still working on. Several of these have shown up a lot in the story. So I'm very curious about where those parts might be. Alright, um, what now? Defeat the assailant. Who? Over here? Alright, let's just teleport over there. <clears throat> Look for the objective. Okay. Oh, well, is that it right there? There we go. Oh no, come on. Ah, this is not the time to be coughing and dying. Freeze! Come on. Let's spark things up a little. I would love to have something that could attack more than one person at once at this moment. Hey, go, go, you can have that. I'm gonna go be Kaya over here. Oh, nope, that's not gonna help. This guy's almost dead, even though he's got a shield going. Oh, I'm stuck in a bubble. At least I don't take continual damage from that. This guy's healing. What? Who is healing you? 
get back here. And then this be Kaya. Let's freeze. Let's play me. I don't even care if I'm getting wet. I just want to get this guy before he starts healing again. Were you healing him? Very impressed. What's this? After the Abyss Mage was defeated, a certain energy dispersed from its body. It seems that energy was being used to cut off the connection between me and Diwali. Okay, so we just have to fight Abyss Mages? Huh. Do you know of Storm Terror's leg? Oh, he got cut off. Wasn't my fault this time. Um... I'm pretty sure I know about this. Haven't I been there and I got a danger warning from Paimon, or was that somewhere else? Of course. I believe the people of Mondstadt all know of it. After Devalin woke up, he took the ancient ruins as his lair. Okay. As it was with the storms that previously cut Mondstadt off from the outside world, the entrance to the ruins is also sealed by a special barrier. I love how he says, the ancient ruins, like this land isn't covered. With different ancient ruins. Sorry, dying for a second. Yes, there's ancient ruins all over the place, so these must be specific ancient ruins. Um, but also, a little bit of Mondstadt lore here. The storms that previously cut Mondstadt off from the outside world? I guess this land has long been associated with storms and wind, huh? But now, as the energy dispersed from the Abyss Mage, I was able to read the rhythmic flow of how the barrier's magic was woven! I get the feeling that this location isn't anywhere near us at the moment, so... That's a pretty long range you've got there on your sensing abilities. I must admit, it sounds even more horrendous than a chorus of hilly churls, but... Yeah, if it's if it's wind-based, it would make sense that you'd have some sort of aptitude for that, huh? It should be enough to let us break through the storm barrier and reach Storm Terror's lair. Sounds good. Which means we're going to confront Devalin? I'm fine with that. Jean is the one who wishes to avoid any direct confrontation. It'll be a friendly confrontation. No. When there are no other options left, it is my responsibility to alter our course of action. I have so much respect for Gene. I guess we're taking this approach because he didn't respond well to our attempt at a friendly chat earlier. If slaying him is our only choice, I will gladly become the knight that leads the charge. Yeah, she understands that it will be what we might need, but it will also be sort of a dark mark on history. Fortunately, we have yet to need to go that far. Hmm. By that, you mean... I mean that the Holy Liar is not our trump card. Our real trump card? The Traveler, of course. You want me to purify the entire dragon? That'll take a while, probably. The Traveler? Is it because I purified the teardrop crystal? Correct. That's not even what he said. Anyway. But you have a much more precious forte. What? The impurities in the tears and the curse that binds Devalin belong to the same Maleficent power. Interesting use of Maleficent there. Which means... You tone-deaf bard, don't you see how crazy this is? I have no idea where he's going with this, not gonna lie. You've seen what Devon is like when he's ticked off? She'll be swallowed whole before she even gets to lift a finger. Uh, I don't really want to go with the second option, because I don't really think this battle will be that difficult. Having said that, I'll probably die a lot, but it's fine. But... We also weren't just talking about how I can fight. It's a little sad that these dialogue trees are not sophisticated enough to be consistent. But sure, we'll just say that they were talking about this off screen. Hey, nice plan. Worth a shot. I am with you, honorary knight. Oh, oh, I've got backup. So we just need to fight monsters from the abyss and a dragon. No pressure or anything. Oh, but Paimon's feeling nervous. It'll be okay. Humans aren't without their strengths. Let's go. You can always teleport away. And so, epic actions of brave heroes finally leads to this 11th hour. Why does your voice sound weird? Sounds like they sped it up or something. <laughs> hey! My adventuring went up! And yeah, did you see Paimon? She just teleported away. It'll be okay. You don't have to get involved with the battle because you don't fight. Oh, hello. And you can just teleport away if you're going gets tough. I'm gonna set you on fire. Red amber. Hi. Ooh, thank goodness. I took my hands off the keys for a second, which is always a bad idea, but luckily they landed right back on where they needed to be. This guy is basically dead. Come on. 
There we go. I just needed the range. I didn't want to go into the fire. Nope, but I still got set on a fire a little bit anyway, somehow. Not sure how that happened, but that's where we ended up anyways. We always seem to end up on fire. Really an occupational hazard in this game. I see a sparkly. It's a pine cone. And a lizard. Gimme. Come on. Thank you. Anything over here that's interesting? Oh. There's something up there. Birds? Eggs, maybe? Ah. Oh. Not what I meant to do. That's alright. We can just climb back up. And recharge. And back up we go. Yes, there is something sparkling up there, which we will grab momentarily. Ah! Great. Good egg. And now, since we're up here, I'd love to fly down and get some distance. Nope, there's a mushroom right there. Alright. Mushroom time. Woven dump. Oh. Look out for wolves. Mint acquired. It's a lizard! It's a different colored lizard! I want it! Yay! Oh, but I just get a lizard tail nonetheless. This one was red. The other ones have been black and white. Hello. Not you. I'm gonna fight these rocks. I'm busy. Yay! Common chest! I'll keep this close. Windblade! Thank you. Got a bunch of stuff. Alrighty. Alright, come here, come here. There we go. Thank you. Amber. Me to these poor individuals just enjoying their evening. Now would be a great time to blow up Baron Bunny. Thank you. A reward on the road. Exquisite chest. I wonder if there's any more levels. I've seen common, I've seen exquisite, and I've seen precious. Oh, and magnificent. Oh dear. Okay, let's not go that way. Paimon's about to kill me again. Is this better, Paimon? There we go. Let's not go under rocks. Let's go on top. Alright, just give me like five minutes here. I wonder if Kaya will be faster. Kaya, your turn. And Lisa? Maybe charged? Come on. You don't have a charge attack. Come huh? a little closer. Blitz. Yeah, that didn't do anything. Amber? Nope. How about charged? Nope. Okay. Swords it is. We're almost there. And we got it. Great, we got one. <laughs> Every little bit helps. Anything in here? Nope. Anything over here? Cabbage! And last but not least, there was definitely something I saw- Oh, this was a bad angle. Something was up here. Oh no, just a cooking area, huh? I thought I saw something. Oh, I saw- um. Purple crystals. The electro crystals. Where did they go? I saw them somewhere. Way up there. Alright. Let's go get them. Recharging. Up we go. Hello. I thought I saw you. Alright, was that all of it? 
any more down there maybe? Not seeing any more, so just the one it seems. Alright, that's fine. On we go. Ooh, fireflies. Got him. Um, I honestly kind of forget what I was doing. I think I'm in the middle of the main quest. All right, going to Storm Terror's lair. Just sort of taking a little bit of a cross-country jaunt here. In order to in order to pick up things I haven't yet picked up, which is why I'm very happy to do all these sidetracking little errands. Same thing up there, and I should come back this way, right? Because that area right next to me is red. Which means I can't do it yet. Which means one day I will be able to do it. And on that day, I will come get everything that I've missed. Oh, wow. Look at that. Storm Terror's Lair. Made it. A little one. I'm so sorry. Prepare to die. You're in Storm Terror's Lair, which is a very dangerous place to be, you know. Oh, that one escaped. Alright. Congrats. You survived. Survived your random encounter with me. I'm really not seeing a lot to collect. Perhaps I just ought to stay on the main path this time. I'm so sorry to bother you. Hey. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> wow, that really didn't do much, actually. Her um, normal E attack did a lot more. A reward on the road. Let's get all the stuff. That's everything. Oh, sparklies. Hello? Hello. That was a really good chest for being a common chest. Well, at least I think so. It had a lot of stuff in it. Uh, once again, the carrots are in fact slimes. <laughs> Is this what they mean by the carrot and the stick? Anything else that's sparkly over here? Not really. Oh, but a chest! Hooray! I'll keep this close. We are really making bank. Come on. Thank you. Wait, I heard something. What was it? Ooh, that's super cool. I kind of want to go up, not that way, that's woven dumb or something, that way. Or is that too steep? Might be. Okay, we'll go on these. Ah. These ruins. And climb up here. Because I think I see, oh dear. I think I see something sparkly up on top of those rocks. Can I climb up this? Yes. There. Yes, I see sparkles! Big open plane. And the music has changed again. Did I just accidentally leave Storm Terror's lair? Wow, that is really a large plane. It's such a pretty sky. What is that? What are you? There we are, back into the Storm Terror's lair music. Where are you? There you are, fine cone, should have guessed. Come on, stats. I forgot we're in the land of dandelions, land of pine cones. Hello? Can I not climb this? Oh, there we go. Wrong angle. Mint? This. Oh, it's just a fire flower. Can I collect it? No, I cannot. Alright. see a chest over there. So, we're going to go get that sweet flower, and then we're going to backtrack a little bit. Get that chest. <gasps> and Amoculus! I knew there was going to be one. I knew there had to be one around here. Alright. Chest first, and then we'll go for the Animoculus. Because it's going to send us down to the ground. Did I get that one? Yeah, that was the one I picked up. Okay. 
this way. Hello, squirrel. Where are you? There you are. I was assuming there would be enemies. I didn't do a plunge attack. I was thinking about it. I should have done it. I should have trusted my instincts. Well, these aren't too bad. Hello. Is this an answer from this world? Thanks for the stuff. Sorry, buddy. They're really so cute. It's so painful to kill these guys. All right, Animoculus, where are you? Over there. Oh, so you're actually not down. You might be up. You're there. Do we see any rocks that could be collapsed? Maybe that's what's going on here. Panko, of course. Alright, sweet flower, mushroom. One last little sweep of this area and then... Animoculus time. Nope, there's a chest! Hey hey, always face the backdrop, right? And there's iron up there. Alright. Can I make it? Oh, I'm not going to make that at all. Well, that was just sad. Yeah. What did I break? <laughs> Tree. Alright. Um. Yes, I'm going to have to completely backtrack. And just redo everything I just did. That's alright. Chest first, then animoculus. And then onwards and upwards. 